Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTicker. In this video, I'm going to test the 90 FPS PUBG gameplay test in the Realme X on Max device after the recent update, which is A.20 update. Yes, friends, just today morning only I did receive the A.20 update. And one more thing, I'm gonna check 4D haptic vibration, whether it is supported in the PUBG global variant or not. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate. Right now, as you can see, friends, I did update my mobile phone to the A.20 update, which I did receive uh, today morning itself in the Realme X and Max device. So unfortunately, it's not connecting. So right now it's connected, as you can see, A.20. Let's say using this PUBG 1.6.0 version exactly, which is a global version global version whether we can actually get 90 fps or not because in the battle guns mobile game it has been capped exactly at 70 fps so we cannot play 90 fps right now after this update which is a.20 update but we are the users they want to know whether is it the same case with the pubg global uh, version or not so that's what this video is about and let's let's demonstrate what is going on and one more quick note let me let you check the 4d vibration whether it's work supported or not yes as you can see exactly 4d vibration is supported that's kind of completely weird because in the badigans mobile game it's not supported and in the pubg game it's supported i cannot understand why this kind of logic is going on on the realme x and max device so we cannot get the 4d vibration working on badigan mobile game as you can see friends in the Badgerons mobile game, this option doesn't even activate, nothing, the game is not supported at all. If you try to go to the game space and if you try to open the 4D vibrations, you'll be able to see only PUBG mobile it display. So it's not compulsory to have, but why not utilize this really good hardware? Because the Realme X and Max has got really very strong haptic feedback, which is 4D, which means you can actually get the vibrations from top and bottom. If you try to look at the this try and uh, try now as a sample, you'll be able to feel very strong vibrations which really friends are really need to figure out to use 4D vibrations because at this moment, I think the Fanta Chuvai, which is a IQ7, those phones were able to utilize in most of the games, Asphalt 9, Call of Duty, and uh, this Abaduance mobile game and some other games. But Realme UI is really uh, struggling, but right now let's focus on the 90 FPS. Even the PUBG also exactly locked around 70 FPS, unfortunately. You can clearly see. Even the PUBG Mobile after the 8.20 update. So we cannot get 90 FPS even in this Realme X on Max device. I forgot to show you the real-time graphics. So 90 FPS I'm trying to use exactly. As you can see, friends, 90 FPS has been enabled, but still we cannot get 90 FPS even in the PUBG global version. So this is very sad to see this kind of uh, not utilizing the hardware properly. That's the thing. This Realme X and Max has got really very good hardware but only the software is the one which is limiting its potential from the beginning. From the beginning, that's what I didn't like uh, of not utilizing this kind of hardware, friends, because they should figure out. And because high refresh rate games also right now, you need to use a brightness trick to play in this phone. Then what the purpose of having this 120 uh, refresh rate and everything? That doesn't make much sense. And you know what is the most annoying part? They do know the problem, but they're still they are not fixing the problem. That is what the most annoying part I would definitely say that at this moment in the real mix and max from the starting we did give a lot of feedback to the team as well and plenty of suggestions and comments I did upload plenty of videos but not even once they try to fix this kind of issue which is uh, 4D vibrations which I'm requesting from the beginning this they should definitely fix as soon as possible fixing the 4D vibrations because we can see it, it PUBG is supported, but not the bad events mobile game is supported. That's kind of completely strange way. I cannot understand why, but let me know in the comments below how many of you guys want the 4D vibrations because I do want, I do want the 4D vibration to get that kind of really good feeling while playing the gameplay. I wish they could have made this very much simple, giving the 4D vibrations and giving the high refresh rate gameplay support as well. And I'm right now I'm trying to use the Realme gaming triggers at this moment. These are the gay Realme gaming triggers. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching this. A quick uh, review which I are giving on the Realme X and Max is in the global variant. And overall it's not supported in the global variant as well. And thank you for watching. See in the next video and let's for more updates. Even the 4D vibrations are also not working. I thought of forgot to mention. Even with this enabling also. It's not working. It's not working. No, well, I cannot feel that vibrations. Even I did enable in the settings and everything. No, it's totally waste of uh, not utilizing the hardware properly in this device. So only two things like 
4D vibration is not utilizing and uh, 120 hertz games also not supporting properly with this kind of UI. Still, we need to use a brightness stick. Only these are the problems which are there in this. So that's it, friends. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video on Linux 3 to 4 updates. Meanwhile, signing off and. Bye.